Um, what does <laughs> drive me a little bonkers is the fact that we tend to focus so much on brushing, but we leave out flossing a lot of the conversation. So thank you for mentioning that. If you read children's books, you'll see they all say, go brush your teeth, but never floss. Mm. So we need a revamp there. But most cavities that I see in children, and this translates to the adult population as well, are in between the teeth or interproximally in the molars. Um, and it's really common. So a lot of parents will bring their kids in. They think they've been doing everything correctly. They haven't been flossing quite yet. And we take x-rays for the first time and the children have eight cavities, which sounds like so many, but it's really common because we have eight molars. And so it happens between the teeth where you're eating those goldfish crackers, those pretzels, those chips. They, they get stuck in between the teeth. The bacteria come to feed. The acid gets released and it just sits there hour after hour, day after day, arguably week after week if you're never flossing. So I really like flossing to be part of the routine too. Again, if you can only do it once a day, that's great. That's fine. Do it at night. I like to floss first, then brush. Mm. Um you're dislodging the food in between and kind of brushing it away. There's actually studies to support this too, that order. However, beggars can be choosers. Just do it. You know, some people get a suction cup mirror. They'll do it in the shower. Some people do it in their commute in the car. I'm not going to be picky about it. Um, I will also say as we age, flossing doesn't always cut it by itself. So think about a little string of floss. You know, we want to put it between the teeth and they suggest you do a C and a backward C. You're scraping the sides of the teeth to disrupt that biofilm. But as we age, we all lose a little bone. So you get this little pocket where that string isn't cleaning the bacteria out of, and that's where a water pick can come in. And so if you really want to be an overachiever, I do love a little water picking too. I personally will alternate. So one night I might floss. The next night I might water pick. Um, this works really well in patients that can't put their hands in the mouth. Maybe they have like an aversion to that. Sensory um, children often will struggle with flossing. So water picks can be fun. You can do it in the bathtub so it doesn't get totally messy. Or in the shower, they make cordless versions. Um, but I can't overemphasize how important flossing is. That interproximal cleaning, it stimulates the gum tissue and, and you're less likely to have gum disease as a result.